Okay, so we're in a two bed, two up, two down, terrace house in Preston. It's a new area to us. We're going through a process now of recruiting a new builder. And um, there's a couple of people on site and we're going through this process now. It's just reminded me how essential it is. Uh, it's also just reminded me of a um, couple of months back when a, a client said to me, um, he used to do buy to let, he used to do what we do, he used to buy a house, renovate it, rent it out. Uh, and then his builder retired, and at that point he had to retire because he couldn't find another builder. He had such a close working relationship with the builder, which sounds great, you know, um, that when his builder stopped working, basically retired, he then couldn't buy any more houses and didn't feel confident to find a new builder, um, get them get them in, get them started. So if you can get this process right, it will give you the, the, the confidence, the certainty, um, that you can get a job done on time, on budget, into the right quality. So uh, what do we do? Um, this is a new area to us. We are bringing on new building teams and we bring on new, we bring on new building teams in old areas as well because you know, builders, good builders turn bad and builders disappear and you know, you, 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 but sometimes you get busier, sometimes somebody retires, somebody, sometimes somebody doesn't pay the VAT bill and they, <laughs> they, they go out of business. All those things can happen. So in order to have that confidence of, you know, I'm going to buy that house and when it needs renovating, I know I can just do it. Um, you need to be able to recruit a building team. So what do we do? Uh, we place adverts. They go out there all over the places, just on the internet, the usual places, you know, something, something dot com. And it's important to put the advert out there so the builders are calling you. Now, the builders calling you puts you in a, a better bargaining position. Today, we've had four builders lining up, four building teams lining up at this front door, walking through, and we talk them through the property. Um, I've got uh, my works manager here, Damien. I've got a franchise partner here as well, Catherine. She's um, working through the job. Um, we've got some set standard paperwork. There's lots of McDonald's wrappers here. I don't think there's any other place to get food at the moment, apart from McDonald's and Tesco's. Um, so we've got a standard specification, um, standard list of works and a schedule of works. And we're essentially just going through the house and saying, these are the tasks, these are the jobs that need doing. So we're setting all the expectation. Um, we've got pictures of other properties that we've done. Um, it's nice if you can take somebody around to um, an another property you've done as well, but we haven't got that luxury here. Uh, but it's just as, as effective. We've got an iPad here with all the renovations we've ever done going through them. Uh, I've got pictures of, of, of properties that we've done as well. Um, if you've not, if it, if it is your first ever project, then find some pictures and show them this is the quality we want. Uh, and then we go through the property and go through the schedule of works line by line. Um, I'll spin the camera around and we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of a, a tour. It'll be a short tour. There we go then, so quick, uh, quick check. There's your kitchen. It's a all right size. It's for what it is. For the house, two bedroom house. Spin around there. You got a bit of a uh, an area that with a bit of prep, prep and whatnot around there. You can call a you know, dining room. You can have a di di dining space, not a dining room, of course. But you know, you definitely put a table in there and have a couple of uh, chairs. This is the the lounge. This is Arthur doing his schedule of works. Got to learn how to price value. You know, you do. You're doing your maths homework. I know. Yeah. Uh, well, Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft. Oh, you do the photos of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, right. Bathroom, and let's see if we can get a, a half decent view of that, because um, yeah, you can see that. There we go. And then into the. Smaller bedroom, and again, there's a few bits of, we can see it's pretty straight. Uh, central heating's got to go back on. There's a few bits of walls that need organising, uh, replastering and whatnot there. Uh, it's been a bit of a DIY disaster, some of this sounds, I think. And this whole wall there can come out. And then we've got Catherine and Damien in here. Organ them some nice and... There we go. How's it going, guys? Art's doing his bits. Some heat. So, there you go, so they're going through. There's a bit of a heated debate going on. 
Okay. How much is going to cost to replaster the the room? Is it 300 or 350 pounds? So when we go through a property like this and you go through it line by line, schedule works. Yeah, you know, line by line, room by room, on the schedule works. It's amazing how accurate you can get it. Um, I would expect that the cost of works in this property here will be within about 500 pounds. Now that means that when you're looking to buy a property, if you've got that much granular detail and that much confidence, you know, yeah, one, I can get a builder. No, that's, that's what the process for doing here. You're going, they're all coming through the door, they're going through this process. We know we will get a builder at the end of this. But if when you buy it, you know that you can get the renovation done. In this case, I think it's 14,500 pounds plus VAT or whatever it is. Um, you've got to know that before you put your offer in. There's no good standing here in this property after it's sale agreed, after it's bought, after, after you got the keys and then scratching your head and wondering how you can get the thing renovated. We need to be within 500 pounds, 500 pounds of our best estimate before we bought it, after we bought it, and we always are. So that's the power of having everything listed, organized, and let's face it, spending a little bit of time on it as well. It's taken, um, well, there's three of us here. I'm here for one of the reason and to take the video. Catherine's here because she's uh, um, working a few things out on, on, on the property and some, some of our systems, and Damien does this all day, every day. But Damien could meet four builders in well, probably four hours, uh, create the schedule works in an hour beforehand, and you know, in less than a day, we've recruited one good new builder, set the right expectation, written the contract, and they could probably be starting within within a week, two weeks, maybe three weeks. You know, if it was four weeks, then that would that would be fine in this situation. It's not, it's gonna be about two weeks is the indication, that's normal. Uh, but sometimes you have to wait a bit, but not in this case. So that's it, just uh, always have a process to bring on a new builder and give yourself that confidence and certainty that you can get a job away. See you next time.